All right, so what we're going to be doing is we are going to create three-dimensional rectangular prisms using a horizon line, a vanishing point, and various rectangles. We have two rectangles that are above the horizon line, two rectangles that are below the horizon line, and two rectangles, and this actually this is probably a square, to, that are on the horizon line. When a shape is above the horizon line, you're gonna see the bottom, okay? So above the horizon line is above your eye level. So what you're gonna do is you can either use a ruler, or if you don't have a ruler, you can just kind of use a straight edge piece of paper. I'll just show you both ways. But basically what you wanna do is, and I like to use my uh, hand, like a, hold the ruler like an L. You wanna take the corners that are closest to the vanishing point and swivel the ruler so that it goes to that vanishing point. And you can see that my hand, my fingers are like an L. This way you hold your ruler, uh, it doesn't move, it doesn't tilt. Then what you wanna do is you wanna line up your ruler. It doesn't matter if it's on the um, metric side or the inches, but you wanna line it up along the vertical axis and shift it to the right without going like this, okay? You wanna go on the vertical line Parallel, it must be parallel. Draw a line here and then go to the bottom, the horizontal line, and bring it down until it meets the point here. And as you can see, this line is parallel to this line, this line is parallel to this line. Then, once you erase the lines, and you, you can erase the whole thing, you don't, you don't have to erase all of the lines but it's you can see not only is your rectangle now three-dimensional it is above the horizon line and we are using one point perspective one point to make your shapes 3d now this could work with geometric shapes this could work with uh, like rectangles squares uh, triangles, okay? But this can also work with letters, and it doesn't even have to be uh, a, a geometric shape. A lot of graffiti artists use this technique. Okay, so now I'm gonna line, I did my three points that are closest to the vanishing point. I'm gonna line it up on my horizontal. I'm gonna make this a big, thick, rectangular box, parallel, and here, parallel. And then what I want you to do is erase the lines so that you have your box nice and three uh, dimension. I just noticed that that actually did not connect as well as I would have liked. Oh, let's just redo that. But the line underneath is parallel to the horizontal and this line is parallel to the vertical, okay? So you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom and what I'll do is I'll use a straight edge just to show you. Um, so I'm gonna hold it just like an L and you're gonna take the point of the rectangle that's closest to the vanishing point and lightly draw your lines I'm gonna take my pencil here so I know where the know where the top of the the rectangle is and then swivel the straight edge or my fake ruler so that it meets the, the tip there. Now I'm gonna line my straight edge along the vertical axis. Make sure it doesn't go like this. And these rectangular prisms down here. Okay, I went line up, pull it up till it meets. Make sure you have a steady grip on your straight edge. And then you erase 
your lines. And you want to erase all of your lines. You can use the back of an eraser, back of a pencil, or you can use a big white eraser if you have it. And below the horizon line, your eye is below the level of the vanishing point. So I'm going to use my straight edge to draw a line over here. And I'm going to made your vanishing point nice and big. And do the same thing here. Now I'm gonna line it up horizontally, shift it to the right a little bit, make sure it's parallel, draw my line. And you really wanna make sure that your lines are straight. So if you don't have a ruler, you can just use a straight edge like this. And then you're going to erase your lines. Okay, and now when you draw your your uh, your rectangles on the horizon line, you're only going to be drawing two two lines to the vanishing line, to the vanishing point. You're gonna do the two sides that are closest. So this is like if you were gonna draw a cityscape. Now you would pull this part away and you can see that you can draw, this almost looks like a building. Now I have white out. You, when you do yours, you can just erase the line. But if you were to draw this, if this uh, horizon line was in pencil, then, whoops then you can use your eraser to erase the line, but otherwise you can see that this looks 3D when you erase that line, but you'll just use white out just to show you, okay? And the horizon is always on the eye level. So for these two, geometric shapes on the horizon line, the horizon is always on eye level. So basically, if you're to the left of the vanishing point, you're going to see the right side of something. And if you're on the right side of the vanishing point, you're going to see the left line, the left side of something. So now I'm going to line it up along the vertical axis and pull it away until it's nice and parallel. And then I'm just going to use my white out so you can see. You don't have to do this part, but just so that you could kind of imagine the three-dimensional part about this. So you have six rectangles and using one point perspective, I want you to make these six rectangles three-dimensional by using the vanishing point and the horizon line.